Hang on one second. Hello, I'm DFM1996. I will be doing Let's Plays. I just bought a capture card, so I figured the best way to, you know, utilize it and, you know, test it out and learn how to use it would be to make videos. In the first video series I would try to be making is a Let's Play, because I feel they would be the easiest to make. And I'd have fun doing it, be a hobby. I'd make them every now and then. So I chose my first game to be Dead Rising because Dead Rising is the first game I ever got for the Xbox 360. It's actually what made me want to get an Xbox 360 just so I could play Dead Rising. It is also one of my favorite games. So uh, we're going to start it off now. Uh, I do apologize since this is my first time making a Let's Play on YouTube. I don't expect to be good, I don't expect to sound professional, so excuse me if I say um or don't know what to say a lot, it is my first time making these videos, so uh, I just want to have fun, I hope you guys have fun watching me, uh, I'll be making these every now and then, so I'm going to first off skip the part where Frank is in the helicopter flying over Willamette, because I just do not find that a fun part of the game to play, and I also don't feel it's a fun part to uh, watch because it's just not fun. I don't think it was fun when I first played it. Um, it took me a while to figure out that you could actually skip the game, uh, the part with it. So we're gonna have to explore a little bit. So we're gonna we'll talk to Carly though. Ooh, excuse me, burped. Um, so yeah, Dead Rising. Um, I have played all three of them. It's one of my favorite, besides Gears of War, yeah, besides Gears of War and Halo, uh, Dead Rising is one of my favorite game series. Uh, the first one is personally my favorite all of, out of all of them. The second one was fun too because of the co-op on it. And the third, the third game, the story is just incredible. I fanboyed the whole time playing it, and it's just a great game that launched the Xbox One with. Way to go, I must say. But uh, either way, the first, those two games, Dead Rising 2 and 3, never matched the charm that Dead Rising 1 has. Uh, just because it's Frank West. And the reason Frank West is the best is because this is the first time like the world in the game has witnessed zombies, or has witnessed a zombie apocalypse. And the way Frank handles the situation of a zombie apocalypse is so hilarious to me because he remains calm the way it is. I never wondered, I never, I want to wonder why he is in Willamette or where he got the tip of the story. It, they might have, again, it has been a while that I played this game, so they might explain it in the game, but I probably don't remember. Um, I used to play this game a lot. This was the game. I played the shit out of when I first got Xbox. Uh, I knew how, where everything was, all the secret passages, all the clothes, all the food. I got pretty much all the achievements. I think most, some of the achievements I need to get are standing at work outdoorsman, which is really easy. Uh, surviving like five and seven days, which is really hard. Uh, just possibly I might make a let's play with that. Just maybe, I'm not 100% sure. I used to have the Mega Man Buster. I used to have all like the equipment with the Mega Man the costume and everything. But sadly, the Xbox, I had all that memory on. It got the Red Ring of Death, and I ended up having to wipe it all out and get a new Xbox. So, I haven't played the game since then. Um, I just recently started playing it a few weeks ago and had a lot of fun playing it, so I decided... I knew I was going to get a capture card, so I decided, why not the first video I do, first game series I do, is Dead Rising, which was the first game I got. So, um, excuse me, I don't know what much more to say during the cutscenes. Uh, some of them are more memorable than the others. This one was it's really memorable because it's the first part where the zombies storm the mall. Alright, hang on. I know one of them has a shotgun. Okay, Ryan has a shotgun. I have to remember that to go get it. You can get that shotgun after he dies. Also, another thing that this game has that the other two don't. I think like every game has a special thing about it. 
Uh, Dead Rising 1 has the, you can take pictures of the zombie apocalypse, of the survivors and everything. Dead Rising 2 has co-op and you can craft your own weapons and everything. And Dead Rising 3 makes it a whole lot different with combo moves, different weapons you can construct, different vehicles you can construct. Uh, every, and like, if you play all three Dead Risings, you'll notice like, the farther up in the series you go, like Dead Rising 2, the survivors are still hard to maintain and understand and control, but are easier than they are in Dead Rising 1 because they're so used to a zombie apocalypse and like, the inevitable is around with the Zombrex shots and everything. In Dead Rising 3, if you don't know, uh, the survivors are, to some survivors you don't even need to bring back to a safe house or anything, they just, you just knock all the zombies off around them and they'll just run off and you get the PP points you get. Um, but then there are other survivors that you, you can save and they'll follow you around, but uh, you don't have to keep them around. You can go back to a safe zone and give them and just keep them there or you can bring them with you and they'll help you. They're more helpful than they are in this. The only downside to Dead Rising 1 is the survivors because they're just such a pain in the ass to bring around and save. Um, oh, another achievement I really want to get in this is Frank the Pimp or the Tory Guy, which you have to escort eight survivors in this, which, and as I said with the survivor situation, that achievement is way much more easier to get in Dead Rising 2 because they're so much more responsible. And I remember I got that achievement with Snowflake the Tiger, but I'll describe more of Snowflake later. So I gotta find Brian, I gotta find Brian, which he's right there. I heard the shotgun. Um, I think he's dead. So I gotta, okay, yeah, Brian's dead. So I gotta get through it and find that shotgun. I know it's there. Yeah, I see it, yeah, I see it, I see it. Oh, come on, come on, Frank, you got this. Oh, I don't remember the controls here. Get off, get off, get off. Pick it up, pick it up. Can I pick it up? Yeah, pick it up. Yeah, Frank, get up, okay. Awesome. All right, so that, there's like a series, and also what I like about Dead Rising is, like if you explore enough in these worlds, like the mall, you'll find like secret guns, secret machine guns, shotguns and everything, which are like, also the, the psychopaths are a little more memorable in this game than they are in the Dead Rising 2 and 3. Uh, one psychopath that we'll see later in the game is Adam, which, as I have a fear of clowns, scared me a lot when I was little. So, and like the death scene for Adam was just so brutal that I've never seen something like that before. Um, I'm going to end it after this cutscene here because I don't think, in the next video I'll go on more in depth with the gameplay and everything. But this is just an introduction video to what I'm going to start doing and everything. Um, personally, the one character I hate is Brad. Oh, and Otis. Anyone that's played this game will know that Otis is the worst. Uh, but what a fun thing is, uh, during the survival mode of this game, you can first person you kill is Otis. Like the first person you find is Otis, which I find it was pretty interesting that Otis would be the first person to kill. So the game designers knew that Otis was annoying. Um, I've tried many, many, many times to get the achievement on answering every call of Otis. <coughs> oh, excuse me every call that Otis gives you, but you have to be in a secluded area, you have to be away from zombies and psychopaths, and he just calls at the worst times ever, like in a boss battle, a psychopath battle, he'll call, and like, or when you're in a herd of zombies with like 2% health, he'll call, so, and you can't let that phone like die, or like you go to voicemail, or whatever you want to call it, because then he'll just get angry, he just gets angry, for some reason, Otis is just a dick. Like, I'm pretty sure he's one of the biggest dicks in this series that I can think of at the moment. Um, she's fucking hot. Uh, yeah, she's fucking hot. I just also like when you the different when you take pictures with the camera. There's different types of there's horror, there's uh, romance, erotic, drama, and there's like a really funny Easter egg I might do where. There's a girl, the old lady you saved in the beginning, Natalie. If you take a picture up her, uh, up her skirt, like you can get a picture of her up her skirt or her dress. Uh, it will flash the horror, like horror, 
like it's a scary sight under there. So whatever the husband did to that must have been horrifying and just horrid. So I might do that. But like, if you would do that to any other girl in the game, it would go to erotic, I'm pretty sure. I haven't found any other girl that has done it. But uh, I want to thank you for watching my first Let's Play video and the introduction to my series. Um, if you like and want to watch more of my videos, uh, like and subscribe and there will be more to come. So thank you for watching and I'll see you later.